Alright, so welcome back to another Dragon Fable build and class guide. Today we're looking at the Shadow Hunter. Uh, before I say anything else again, uh, this is a Mugloween exclusive class, so you're gonna want to grab this before Mugloween is done. I highly recommend it. It's not the best class in the game, but it's very fun to use. Um, I don't know when Mugloween ends, but it's gonna be soon, maybe in like a week and a half's time. So make sure you grab it if you're interested. So to actually get this class, we're going to go to the Book of Law here, go to Mugloween, and now we are going to need to go to Chapter 8. So if you've not unlocked it, you'll have to play through. If so, just go here and go to Simone. You'll have to complete these three quests here, and then uh, get to Simone, which is like the trick or treating. But for this year, uh, it's, we're collecting these like monster heart things. So um, Shadow Hunter armor, tend to unlock. But it is a completely different item. And then one for each skill. So, well, we're not actually going to uh, do the trigger treating for the weapons. It's actually a little bit different. So, what we're going to do is press leave. Go to the older events again. Chapter 8. Now, we have a mission equal onslaught. Which, where we're going to. We're going to spawn in an area. We're going to have to clear it. And then we get a monster heart at the end of it. Now, uh, to show you the quest, it's just like a simple basic quest where you go around kill shit in this case it's crashed so basically when you find the boss you'll finish it and get a monster heart you're gonna want 13 in this total so once we've actually gathered 13 hearts from this quest go to Simone uh, go to Quare why the fuck did I do that I am stupid I uh, get to treats <laughs> get to the shadow hunter 10 to unlock it and only 3 to unlock all the skills. Only 3, which is nice. So, as per usual, I'm running it on my case with a class, my Let's Play character. I've got 200 int, uh, 14 endurance, and 115 in wisdom. These are my overall defenses, my damage and stuff, and these are my extra little resistances. Alright, so for the gear I'm using. I'm using the Shadow Hunter Ultra Sword, which I'll show you how to get in a second. I'm using my case with uh, wings because I can't really find any wings for this character or a cape. Um, I've just like I've put I've a quick check that says hide on here, just so we don't see because it looks a bit stupid with a class. Um, I'm using the Weaver's helmet because it is extremely high level, and I'm actually using the Time Reaper's cowl now to get this. You're gonna want to um, when you buy dragon coins, um, there's actually like a bundle. I bought this a long time ago, and I thought it looked kind of cool with the class, so I thought I'd equip it. But I'm, I'm like showing it over my weaver's facade, and then these are my extra little trinkets and stuff, which is you know average. Oh, right, so to actually get the sword. Uh, you're going to want to go over to Treats, a bit like the Pumpkin Lord. Uh, the Shadow Hunter Sword. Now, 300 to unlock it, and the rest of the upgrades is 300. Uh, to actually get all these hearts, you're going to go do the trick or treating. Knock on the house door, you'll get a load of uh, these things, which are like different to the ones that we farmed to actually get the class. And then once you got them, you got, I think you need... For the level 80, you want 3,600 candy in total for the level 80. Which is not that much, it only takes about 10 minutes to get. Alright, so this is where it gets a little bit weird. Now, for the skills, I can't really show you, like, just all of them. Because the skills only work really effectively in combos. Like, all of these are blanked out because we need to use it as a combo finisher. Because that's what the class is for, it's for combos. So, now I know a few good combos that are like some of the be better ones to use. So what we're going to do first, we're going to do a heal combo. Which we're going to do as a nice heal, so we're going to go magic. Which is an average damage attack. Uh, you're going to want to do it again. And there you go, we've unlocked the heal combo. So when we press this, 448 health, so that is a very good heal. Like, insanely good. 
And and all these skills are well, they're not really cheap, cheap, but they're you know they're average. So for the next combo, I'm gonna show you how to do a crit combo. So big critical attack. We're gonna want to do magic again. There you go. And when he is done attacking us, we're gonna press gun. 524 damage. Now, this is going to be the skill that we're going to use to kill normal, low-level, weak enemies. You know, just random enemies. The magic and gun, and he can keep doing it again and again and again if you want. So, he can do it infinitely, which is awesome. Alright, so now we've actually got something called the... Um, it's like a power-up combo. So, what we're going to do, uh, sword. It's going to give us a massive damage increase. So, sword, sword. Gonna be a bit of a better attack as well because it's like the second part of the combo. Then we're gonna do magic. So, damage buff, combo finished. Ow. So, we have 50 power boost. So, we're gonna do half the damage more, which is really good. Alright, so up next we have the sword combo, like the big sword combo, so we're going to do this three times, so the the first attack is average and so is the second attack, but the last part on this is going to do insane damage. It's a very good attack. There you go. Look at, look at this. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I love that attack, it's really good. Uh, so, the, for the best rotation of skills, now obviously for a weaker enemy, we're going to be using this. This is what I like to do anyway. Uh, so, magic and then a gun, which are the crit combo. So, we're going to do a big amount of damage. Uh, we're going to do the power up combo. This is like a really good boss killing thing. So. For the power of combo, it's sword, sword, then magic. These other combinations, but Lee, these are the ones that I use. So there you go, we've got a massive damage increase now. And we're going to combine this with a crit combo. So when you've done sword, sword, magic for the power up, we go magic to start the magic combo. And then turn that magic combo into a crit combo. Almost 800 damage, which is awesome. And now, if the enemy has a lot of health left, a good way to finish it is to just use the sword combo, where we use this attack three times. Now, obviously, in my case, this guy is going to be dead now. So, if it survives what you just did, use the crit combo. Use the big sword combo. So, I should have said, there's a big link in the description, a big link, there's a link in the description for all the combos and stuff for this class, so make sure to check it out if you're interested. Anyway though, thank you for watching, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.